and welcome back to my channel. This video is part of the three things, three minutes series. And the whole idea of this is that I offer you three things that you can do in less than three minutes that don't require any tools, but that, you know, will help you achieve a certain goal. So last time it was minimalism. Today we're saving the world, which is always good. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I am making an effort. Effort. Oh no, no. That was the word active and effort together. Effort. I've been making an active effort recently to really try and use the small little bits of time in the day wisely. So, you know, while you're waiting for the kettle to boil or while your food's stewing. <laughs> What's the word when you're cooking? Cooking. While your food's cooking. Uh, basically, I kind of diagnosed myself with a bizarre and slightly unhealthy relationship with time. So I'm kind of trying to fix that by trying to look at time differently. So I've mentioned this before, but I was always someone who, you know, couldn't get any work done unless they had, you know, a six hour block to do it in. I just couldn't, I couldn't mentally focus because I felt like, you know, I felt like the next task that I had to do was kind of encroaching on the time of the current task. So I would basically just waste time. If I had 10 minutes, I would waste those 10 minutes because I was waiting for the, the thing that was due to start in 10 minutes. But now I'm trying to kind of use, use my time wisely and not feel too much anxiety over my commitments. Anyway, that aside, let's move on to the actual bit of the video that matters. And this is three things that you can do in three minutes or less to help save the world. So the first thing is right now, put a tote bag or a plastic bag or any bag that you have inside your handbag. So the next time you are out shopping, you aren't caught without one. One thing that kind of annoys me about tote bags is that when you put them in your bag, they they seem to take over the entire bag because they're, they're almost, they always become a liquid when you put them in there and then you can't find your keys and you can't find a phone. So one thing that I like to do is I like to turn them into this little triangle shape. So I actually learned how to turn rectangular flat things into triangles when Charles and I were at school when we were 16 and he used to do it to his crisp packets and here we are now I'm doing it to my tote bags and it just makes things just a lot more tidy in your handbag which I like. The second thing you can do is download Ecosia which is a search app that basically just uses Google, very similar to Google, it is just Google, but all of the ad revenue goes towards planting new trees. So just from ad revenue, just from people using this app instead of using, you know, just the Google search, they have planted over 20 and a half million trees. And you can find out more about how they do that on their website. But making a small switch like using Ecosia instead of using Google just shows that, you know, just tiny, tiny little decisions or tiny moments or tiny, tiny little things can make a massive impact. And the final thing in this list of things that you can do right now that take three minutes or less to do to save the world is switch your energy provider to a company like Bulb. So this isn't an advert, but if you do happen to sign up using our coupon code, then you will get 50 pounds off your bill and I will also get 50 pounds off my bill, which would be very nice. And the good thing about this is once you sign up, you can then pass your code on and then you can get 50 pounds off your bill as well. So the reason that I really like Bulb is, well, first of all, they're the only 100% renewable electricity suppliers in the UK and they're the lowest cost as well. And they also donate to Trees for Cities so obviously you don't have to use Bulb and you obviously as well don't have to use our coupon code, but by switching to something, some kind of company that has renewable energy is gonna make a massive, massive difference. I mean, think about it this way, by supporting a company who have 100% renewable energy, you are not supporting nuclear energy, natural gas and coal. I just think they're a fantastic company and we haven't had any problems with them at all. And again, this is not an ad, this is just me raving about this company because I really like them. And I think when it comes to electricity and gas providers, as well as you actually supporting the kind of energy that you approve of, it's about discouraging the ones that are actually harming the planet as well. There's a quote that I like. Let me just go to my sketchbook of stuff. Now, the problem with my sketchbook of stuff is nothing's ever in any order. So I tend not to know where things are, but, um, that's kind of the joy of it in some ways as well. She tells herself as she flicks through for half an hour. 
Where the plimp and plump is it? Ah, yes, okay, so there's this quote which I really like. <coughs> there is no such thing as not voting. You either vote by voting or you vote by staying home and tacitly doubling the value of some diehard vote. And I know obviously we're not talking about voting, we're talking about gas and electricity, but I, as you know, think of every single pound that I spend as a vote in favour of that company. So bearing that in mind, really think in terms of electricity and gas, which company and what kind of energy you actually want to vote for. Who do you want to invest in? Who do you want to give your hard-earned money to? And the amazing thing about energy providers is the more people who support those companies who are investing in renewable energy, it means that they then have more funds to be able to further invest and further promote renewable energy. So they were three things that you can do that take three minutes or less. And granted, you know, switching your energy over to bulb is actually going to be a little bit more time consuming. But in terms of filling out the form, that isn't going to take any more than three minutes. That's the way I'm seeing it anyway. So I hope they were of some use and I hope that together we can help make this planet a little bit nicer. So if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram and check out my blog as well. And I shall see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.